Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Bronx Lock Picker 60 uh, with another lock. Uh, this lock uh, was sent to me by Randy Perkins. Randy Perkins, thanks a lot for the uh, awesome package he sent me. Uh, this lock is a, I believe it is Silka, six pin Euro. And it is Pin in the Shed by Pete Restall. It's a six pinner, like I said. That's the bidding. <clears throat> and it works really, really smooth. And now it's locked. Let's uh, get a little close here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can see what's going on. Uh, this lock has been in my naughty bucket for, well, since I had it. Pulled it out last night trying to get into it. Haven't successfully gotten into it, so let's see. Let's pin one. Two. Nice full set. There we go. So I went from one to two to three. Back to one, then to two. And that opened up on two. Well, that was kind of surprising. Uh, not sure if it was a challenge lock. I said it was pinned by... Uh, Pete Restall, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, that it's, uh, you know, has security pins in it. But we're going to find out what's, uh, what he has in store. Oops, sorry. That really kind of really surprised me. I got into it that quick. Sorry about that. That means we have a key. Let's lock it up. And which one of these do you get? Oh, okay. I'm not going to need that. Not that one. Right. 
Okay. Ding dong here. Really, really tight. Sorry about that. Wow. It's going to take me longer to shimmer than I did to pick. I can just bridge this little gap. That's all I need. That's all I want. There we go. Let's find it. I think I like uh, potty uh, three one four technique for doing this. Okay, I lost a pen. We'll find out. Excuse me. Now they all work. Nice. And I'll grab my. See where they were. Cool. So, and you can see they all needed to be uh, picked, but how I uh, managed. Manage, manage to uh, just pick, get it open by uh, three pens. I don't know, but let's see what we got here. That is serrated. <clears throat> um, that is standard. With a reduced diameter top, I believe. That looks standard. Serrated. Standard. And. Spool. Focus. Focus. Okay. That's my little handy dandy tool here. Alright, so one one is threaded, I think two has a little uh, undercutting. Same with three. Four is threaded, five is standard, and six is threaded. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, yeah, okay. I never, never
never seem to have a easy time gutting. Okay, get that out. Okay, well, let's pull one out of a copper spring. And a ASA like type looking uh pen okay so oh wow nice deep spool same type of spring Let's go number three. Number three is a spool that looks like it's a little uh, reduced in the center. Yeah, I think all the springs are going to be the same. One more from this side. Um, triple serrated, I believe. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, stop playing with that. Sorry about was out of focus. A right frame on me. It's not working out for me this morning. Like Pete says, it's not playing ball. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, goes all the way in there. This is six. Uh, oops, right there. Double serrated. Yeah, same same type of spring. And five is a really deep uh, spool. And I'm not going to bother with the other two uh, springs because yep, they look the same. And I doubt, and yeah, nothing's been done to the core, more to the Bible. So this is what we have. Number one, double serrated. Number two is the reduced diameter on the top. Standard, triple serrated. Standard spool. And on the top here, it's like an acetate uh, uh, driver. Deep. Uh, Deep spool there. Uh, you can either call that a spool or a deep serration. That's a triple serrated, a really deep spool, and uh, a double uh, deep uh, serrations there. And that's what we have in this lock by Pete Restall. Uh, if you like uh, what I do, please hit the like button. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button. And as always, stay safe, stay legal. And as I say, stay calm and pick on.
Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good day and bye-bye.